But what about Sunday morning? Because I can separate business from personal. Can you? Because I wasn't born into this business. You very much were. You grew up in this business. Personal to you is this business. You were the son of one of the most legendary professional wrestlers of all time. One of the greatest. And I said to start this all off, you and I have traveled very different paths. I didn't have a famous dad. When you showed up to OVW, other people saw Dusty. I saw Cody. I didn't see necessarily a nepotism hire because where everybody saw that you were born on third base and you were afforded all these great things and you had the head start that I didn't get because I had to scratch and claw and fight my way to get to where I was, I saw the burden of your last name. I saw how hard it was going to be to come out of that shadow. And congratulations, you have done it with flying colors. But for all our differences, you in a very nice expensive suit, me and what I wore to the gym today. Two very different paths, one very, very similar goal. I didn't have the famous dad. I didn't have the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, son of a plumber. Global, international, heavyweight oh, champion, superstar wrestler, recognized on the streets. Dine with kings and queens. How's the rest of it go? Slept in alleys and uh, dined on pork and beans. <laughs> I didn't have the famous dad. My father was blue collar. My father was just a regular guy. He was an electrician, which makes it kind of ironic. I'm more of the American dream than you are. Ooh. Oh. I felt that. Okay. Okay, American dream. Here's what I want to talk about. Let's talk about the pipe bomb. <laughs> you said right up there. You said a few words. You rattled off the formula for a revolution. You inspired countless. There are wrestlers who have gotten in this today because of said interview. Count me one of those who was inspired. But then, you left. And when you left, you really left. You didn't pass the torch off, you dropped it on the way out. Mm. And I don't think you cared who picked it up, but I think you know who did. I did. Everything, everything that you spoke about, I literally did. So where you talked, I walked. And what is actually ironic, that makes me more CM Punk than you. Woo! Sabres the Pistols. Oh, take the jacket off. <laughs> I think he's about to cook. It's getting a little hot in here. You're more CM Punk than I am? Well, allow me to give you the full road to WrestleMania CM Punk experience. See, Cody Rhodes, you have carried this company on your back for a soul-crushing two years. And you're right around the corner and they hand you the cover of the WWE 2K video game. Congratulations, by the way. It's on <laughs> sale pretty soon, I'm sure. And right when you're about to cross the finish line and finish your story. Oh, wait! What's that in the distance? 
it's a much bigger superstar that hasn't been around in a very long time coming to take it all away from you and I'm talking about me there you are looking out for me again mm. you might be right you talked all about the American dream, well then you should know this, he was my best friend and he regularly quoted John Wayne and the quote I heard the most is courage is being scared to death but saddling up anyways. You may be right, but I have only one direction I can go, I have to go, and that's forward. And that's in the Royal Rumble. That direction goes through you. Ooh. I want to see these two go in. Those two are the story. That promo was fire. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.